six points that are up for grabs here tonight towards the overall event championship. The technicians in the back have geared these machines for speed, and the drivers want to use both front and rear steer to navigate the Chicago-style course, all in search of the racing way. So, who's ready for Monster Energy Racing?
cross the finish line first. However, in doing so, he knocked over the turn pole that you can see being reset right now. The rules in Monster Energy Racing are simple. If one of the drivers knocks over or crushes either turn pole, they will be disqualified and their competitor moves on. Fresno, 
Who's ready for the two wheel skills challenge? You sound ready?
Johnson came to play here on Saturday night, showing us a little bit of a different look. First time we're really seeing that nose wheelie, that stoppy on that third attempt. The other two were perfectly executed as well. Was that combination of maneuvers enough to take over that top spot? We saw Zombie moments ago double up on a wild card. She has your score to beat. Will she continue to hang on to it? That is the question on everybody's mind. Let's find out. 8.480 and the score for Obsessed is... 6.285, enough to take over second place, but that means your score to beat will continue to belong to Zombie.
two bad tires at all. Either way, you gotta lock those scores in. Winner, judgeszone.com. You gotta do it quick. Ten seconds remaining. We're down to nine, eight, seven. You guys know how time works. It just tick, tick, ticks away. Did Armando Castro do enough to take over that top spot? We are about to find out. He's got his work cut out for him. Grave Digger had a great run. He has a big number to try and top. But El Toro Loco's number was great as well. Let's see if it'll translate. Score to beat, 9.527. The score for El Toro Loco is... 8.383. That'll land him in third place. And that means that your winner is Brandon Vincent Grave Digger. BJ 
Sydney Johnson wastes no time sitting into that donut. That's what you should do. Waste no time over at judgeszone.com. Why? Because the 20 seconds has already started. You're down to about 10 seconds left to decide on a score. Did he do enough to take over that top spot and pull the score to beat away from his teammate and friend, Eric Swanson? Or will Eric continue to hang on to that top spot? It is all up to you to decide. You've got just a few seconds left to click submit. Right on cue, I hope that you did. There's your score to beat, 6.301. And the score for Wild Card is... A great score, and we've got a new leader, 6.8, excuse me, 7.680. JudgesZone.com. There's your score to beat. The score for El Toro Loco is 8.971. A great score. Enough to take over second place. Your score to beat. Still great digger.
keeping it going for Zombie. A controlled donut from the start. She didn't move very much, especially in those first several revolutions. Drifting a little bit there at the end, slang and mud like any good donut should. Was it enough to get Brittany Mark out of her second donut competition win on a Saturday? She won this competition earlier this afternoon. Will she do it again? Let's find out. Check out first. That score to beat, it's been hanging on for a little bit right now. It is with Gravedigger and with Brandon Vincent, a big number, 9.134. And the score for Zombie is... Not quite enough. She takes over third place, and that means the winner is Gravedigger. JudgesZone.com to lock in your scores. As the official judges, you're going to want to look for a few things, and we put them up on the video board using all of the 75 seconds, also using all of the obstacles you see around the pod, creativity, flow, momentum, the technical moves and combinations that these drivers are known for, and that little bit extra, that special wow factor that you fans in the stands know and love. When you see the ribbon board go red, that'll tell you that time is up, and it is your turn to lock in those scores. So, who's ready for BKT Freestyle? B.J. Johnson, Six years away 
from competing in this building. Last time he did, he won a freestyle competition. Will he win freestyle here tonight? Well, that is now up to you because BJ, he's done all that he can possibly do. Now it's in your hands, of course, over at judgeszone.com. He's a veteran of 20 years. He showed why during that run, a little bit of everything. And there's the score for him. It is a 5.297. And of course, that is your score to beat. Let's turn our attention up to the video board.
Brandi Marcotte might still technically be a rookie in Monster Jam, but she has not shown it this weekend. Win this competition earlier today, and another great freestyle run right there. Wasn't enough to put her in the lead and in position to perhaps win a second career freestyle in a row. She's popped out of that zombie truck. Let's find out. Obsessed 6.247. The score for Zombie is... We have another new leader, 8.124. Your score to beat, once again, belongs to Brittany Marcotte. Coming up next, he's looking to sweep the night. It is Brandon Vinson.
Fidel Castro with a great run, giving a little bit of time on the clock. He's given the international sign for broken. That means he has some trunk breakage, which is why he stopped a little bit early. But it was still a great run, great rhythm, great throttle rhythm to boot. Was it enough to take that top spot away from Gravedigger and Brandon Vincent, even with 19 seconds left? We are about to find out because there's only about three seconds left for you to click submit and have your score counted for Armando Castro and El Toro Loco as we bring the freestyle competition to a close to wrap up the event here on a Saturday night. It has been action packed. It has been Grave Digger's night so far. We'll see if that continues. He's got your score to beat, 9.202. The score for El Toro Loco is... 8.305, and that means that your freestyle winner is Grave Digger! You can take a look up at the video board. Six is all across the board. Four out of four, a perfect game, ladies and gentlemen. Your overall event champion, Brandon Digger, Brandon Vincent. Brandon, what can I say, man? Congratulations and just wow. You've had a great weekend so far. This one, probably the best. You pitch another perfect game. You are seven in a row, undefeated, in the Save Mart Center. How are you feeling? Man, I'm feeling great, man. It's an emotional night for me. Anybody that comes out here and tries to drive one of these stumps, man, it's a challenge. And to come out here and take every competition and get on this overall big championship win at the end of the night, it takes a lot of hard work, a lot of dedication, man. But I'm up for the challenge. Driving this great big truck in the ground. Please show everyone of you fans in the stands. 39-year legacy, man. Armando. Everybody else out here putting it down, throwing it down for you guys as well, man. We can't thank you enough for spending your hard earned money coming to Monster Jam and supporting all of us, man. So for that, we'll never be we'll always be grateful. We'll always love you. Brandon, the big question is, we got one more event tomorrow. Can you be perfect again? Can you leave Fresno still undefeated? We're gonna come out swinging. We're gonna try 100 percent one foot on the gas, one in the grave. Fresno, California, can't 